Hey there guys, Specs are here. Welcome back to Retro Specs and I am in Scrap Mechanic. Yes, you guys have been waiting for a Scrap Mechanic video. I've got a few that are to come, but I thought I'd do one which is Halo themed. As you can see here, there's an Halo uh, pixel art by Gizmanian. I've got it here in the world, looks pretty cool. Now, I'm not sure how, how old some of this stuff is, but that's irrelevant because I have a Halo build to show you at the end. I'm gonna show you some of my favorite Halo workshop creations that there are available. And to start that off, I'm going to show you one by none other than Moonbow. Now, this one is quite an old build. This is over a year old, I believe. Moonbow built this a while ago. I wanted to show it though. I've never actually flown this thing. Uh, it's actually dead opposite the Master Chief there. It's probably going to be disaster right here. Um, but yeah, we're going to give it a go. So let's just jump in. There's a driving seat there. Now I know Moonbow uses some crazy uh, numbers for flying, which I'm not used to. I have my own method of flying, but I'm going to give it a go anyway. So I'm guessing one turns the main thrusters on. Okay, well they don't seem to be lifting us off the floor and the door hasn't shut, so what am I doing wrong here? Let's try thrusting. Oh, I can definitely go forward. Uh, two uh, tries to lift the back end. Three. Uh, yep, there's some more thrusters in the middle there. Four and five. Oh, that definitely lifts the back end. And we only have five buttons, so why is it not lifting off the floor? Now, this could be due to the thrusters. They changed power somewhere along the line of the development. Uh, so I may need to have a look at the thrusters. Give me a second. Let me just jump out and see. Which are the upward thrust? We have upward thrust here. And we have upward thrust here. Okay, let's just switch that off for a second. So that's one. Jump out. So what are these set to? We've got these. Set two away from top and what's this one? That's quite a long way down. And then these ones here. Okay, I'm gonna put these up to full. I know the thrusters have come down in power a little bit. And let's turn that one up to full. And then let's see how we go for now. So pressing the one key doesn't quite lift us off the floor again so we're still not quite where we want to be so let's have a little tinker again with that let's see if we can actually get this right guys let's jump out again okay let's try then raising these up um, one each a little notch there and another notch there let's see if it gets us off the floor now yeah just barely off the floor okay so I'm in the air kind of uh, what buttons have we got then we've got uh, one was the main thrust. Two was turn oh, roll, I think, to the left. Three was roll to the right. Four was uh, pitch up. And five was down. Okay. And then forward, I'm guessing the yep, thrust. So let's see if we can get over the Master Chief. Can we? Can we? Can we? Can we? No, we can't. <laughs> Uh, we haven't even got as much forward thrust as I think we need. Uh, so that's also a problem. Where are our forward thrusters? Here they are. Let's whack these up to full. One, two, three. And there you go. And then this side, they already are at full. Why did he have a couple of these down in power? I don't know. This is how it came off the workshop. So I hadn't messed with it till now. So hopefully we've got enough forward thrust now. Actually, I want a little bit more upward thrust than I had see if we can get another one on these two probably want a little bit more power at the front on upward thrust can I actually get to any of those others probably not new and I don't want to delete those ones so I see let's see what this does so one oh it's raising us up that's cool and the forward thrust now I'm guessing is gonna give us a lot more power now I'm sure the doors gonna close on a sensor in a second Yep, I was right. There we go. It's a little bit like my duck does and a few other builds I've got that do the same sort of thing. A sensor shuts it off. Okay, so we know then we have two and three for the pitch left and right. Forward will go forward and we can turn it. Let's just zoom out a second. I don't want to smash into the uh, barrier here, but I'm probably going to anyway. Thrust. Okay. Am I zoomed out as far as I can? I think I am. So we have those buttons, two and three, four, turn it like that. That's okay. We've got that under control. And pitching and rolling, I think, was done with the four and the five key. So yeah, I'm not doing too bad at flying this. Consider it. Oh, until I turn the power off. 
Yeah, I'm so used to my own key combination. I tell you what, I'm not going to be able to fly this for much longer. See if we can make a desperate crash landing into the mountain here. Uh, we're going to land on top of it. Oh, kind of. Has the door come down? Yes, it has. Okay, let me just see if I can escape this mangled mess of a banshee. Uh, come on. Get out, Spexy. You can do it. You can do it. I don't know if I can do it, actually. Let's see. Let's uh, put the power on and let's uh, just tumble down here. Turn it off. And we are kind of down. I'm guessing I'm locked in now, though. Oh, we're trapped. <laughs> I'm kind of trapped. I can't even reach the driving seat. Where is the driving seat? I'm hidden somewhere in all of this mess. I have no idea whereabouts I am. This is a breakout time. I need to break out. We're going to have to spawn this one back in, guys. Right, let's break out of here. I'm getting out. Yes, we're getting out. Here we go. We're nearly there. You can't build things to contain Spexy. I will get out. Come on. Let's delete that. Delete that. And we are free. Sorry, Moonbow made a little bit of a mess of your Banshee there. Uh, I'm going to spawn it back in because there's something I want to do with it. I think I'll be able to fly it a lot better. Let's just delete that for a second. Bring it back in. There it is. And now, we know that we have to change the power on these for some reason. They are lower than they should be. They should be at full. I want them at full anyway. We're going to go fast. We want to turn these ones up to full here. And we want to turn these three front ones here up to full as well. That gets us off the floor. Now, I want to change the control method and see if I can fly this better with a similar control method that I'm used to. Now, I can't do the 5, 6, 7 and 8 buttons, but I can do... Actually, I could do the 5, 6, 7 and 8 buttons. I just need to add some extra buttons, but I'm not going to do that. I'm going to go with the 1, 2, 3 and 4 as my pitch and roll, but in the combination that I like. So, what have we got currently? Let's say so we've got 3, two, 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 4 and 5 were the pitch, 3 and 2 were the roll. Let's undo these then, quickly. When he's got all the controls I want, he's just got them in the order that I don't like. So we're going to go with that as one. Oh, sorry, we've got one over there. Let's get that out for me. That is one. That is two. That is three. And that is four. And then we'll put that one as five. So we turn the thrust on with five now. It should get us off the floor. And now I'm hoping I can fly this better. Let's see if I can. Oh yes, we got it in the bag. Still not going as fast as I'd like it to, but it's pretty cool. I can't zoom out any further. Sorry guys, can't show you what this looks like from a uh, further angle, but yeah, it's pretty cool and I'm flying it a lot better now that I've changed those uh, keys. Definitely, let's put the follow cam on for a second. Oh, why is it following it from that angle? Let's, uh, yeah, strip follow cam from behind and let's go. Oh yeah, we got it. And to prove it, I'm going to take it back to the Master Chief, which I believe was over here. And let's bring this thing down. I would say to a graceful landing. I'm not sure I'm capable of such a thing, but we can try it. Let's turn it around. Oh, we'll bring it in nicely, nicely. Roll it. Ooh, it's coming down fast. It's coming down fast. Oh, I didn't... I didn't land it the way I wanted to there. Uh, I'm stuck against the wall now. Uh, let me turn off the main thrusters for a second. See if I can get us out of this. Oh, there you go. That's landed, kinda. Well, there you go. That was Moonbow's Banshee. Awesome build back when he built it. Still an awesome build now, but it does need a little bit of um, updating because the thruster powers have changed in the game. Axolot, how dare you do such thing? But you have, and uh, yeah, it does need a little bit of an update. There it is, though. Pretty cool, nonetheless. That is by Moonbow. Check out his channel if you haven't done so already. I'm sure if you know my channel, though, you know Moonbow's. And uh, yeah, I'm going to bring in another creation now. Another Halo-themed creation, and let's see what I get next. Okay, guys. Well, here we have the Ghost Mark II. This is uh, the Covenant Ghost. Now, again, the thrusters were too low a level. I've had to turn them up a little bit. So this is pre the update where the thrusters became lower power. I'm going to jump on this thing now. I don't know what all these suspensions are for in the, in the front here. 
uh, but this is just a little hover vehicle. As you can see, it has no buttons. There is nothing else on this apart from the driving uh, seat. So you can only uh, thrust or throttle and turn and that is it but it kind of hovers around now it didn't do this when i first loaded it in it dragged the floor a hell of a lot more i have kind of tinkered with it a little bit to get it going and it kind of works pretty well i like this this is by eric ng 37 yeah another pretty cool design not sure how old again it is but yeah it's pretty cool little halo inspired covenant design there lovely pink or purple uh design yeah i'm liking it it's pretty cool that's a Pity that there are no buttons on it, it does do nothing else, but for what it does, it does well. Yeah, snazzy little design, pretty quick too. So yeah, I'm liking that a lot. So let's just jump in and find out what else we have that's Halo inspired. Oh, well, I'm losing control of this. And uh, let, yeah, let's jump into the next one. Whoa. Okay, next we have something from the human faction. We have this. This is the uh, tank. Now, what was it called? The scorpion tank? I cannot remember what it was called, in fact. It is the scorpion tank. Yes, from Halo. I thought it was by D Inc. and Alejandro. And pretty awesome looking. Now, I've seen this on the workshop before, but I've never tried it. I like the suspension there. I'm guessing that that pings back uh, when you fire. I'm not sure where the seat is in this thing. And I haven't seen any buttons on it. Where can we get in? There's lights. There's lots and lots of bearings. Okay, on top maybe? Can we get up there? Where's the, where's the seat? So we have a seat there. How do we get to that then? On here? Down here. Yes. We're in. <laughs> and the head pops out the top there slightly. Oh, hello. So one turns the turret around and two stops it. That's cool. Okay, so we can have it any angle we want. We can raise it and lower it. Okay. With the two key, we can, what's the three key do? Nothing. And the four, doesn't seem to do anything either. There you go. So, okay, we've got nothing for the lights there, that's odd. Drives around pretty snazzy. I like the way that the wheels kind of go over the terrain. Turning is awkward, let's say, just a little bit. Let's see if we can get this. So it seems to be jammed. Oh, because I can't turn it, I'm guessing, while it's raised. Nope, that isn't it, but it isn't turning. And I've broken it. Alejandro and D-Ink, I have broken your tank. Let me just spawn it back again and uh, see if we can get this going. So there it is. There's nothing connecting the lights, so that's why they're not coming on. Um, okay, let's get in there again. So, one, we know turned to the turret. Two, went up and down with the turret. Three, did nothing. Four, did nothing which is a little odd. Let's see if they're connected to anything. They are, they're connected to engines. Okay. So how did three do nothing then? It must do something. Are they connected to engines? Three is connected to an engine over there, which is then connected to a wheel over there. Odd, odd. And four is the other way round. Is these side pieces? Okay, let's, uh, let's see what they do then when I press those. So three and four. Three. And four. I'm not seeing them do anything that I can hear them. Ah, there we have a sideways turning wheel there. Okay, and there, that is strange. So I'm guessing they're supposed to help me turn, is it? turn in that direction and then if I want to go the other way maybe use the four you know I'm not exactly sure how I'm supposed to drive this but uh, I'm trying my best here guys so three and four was definitely that and the other one yeah I really wanted like caterpillar tracks for each side because going forward and reverse is all well and good Ooh, what have I done uh, but turn in is not so easy. It's done with the three and four key, evidently. And yeah, definitely is. It kind of turns around. But it's so clunky to turn. Pity, really, because very, very nice, but very, very difficult to spin this thing around. Now, going in reverse, I seem to be able to turn it a little bit better. But when I'm going forward, 
yeah it doesn't work quite so well i'm gonna jump out before i break it some more or i'm not gonna jump out as it seems let's show you the next one okay guys next we have this it's this is the mongoose now i wanted to build one of these myself and i didn't have a lot of luck in doing so now again there's a few little problems with it in regards to suspension this time and uh yeah the game since it's updated again things have changed and gone a little bit wonky Ooh. Kept it up right. It's pretty cool though. It looks a lot like the Mongoose. It's a little bit bigger than I tried to make one. How the hell that stayed up right, I don't know. That's pretty cool. I can't put this in follow cam though, because if I try, oh, let's just jump off for a second. If I try, well, let's show you. If I try to put this in follow cam, because you lay down on that front seat, there's a passenger seat at the back here you can get into, but the one at the front where you lay forward, if you put follow cam on, it kind of does this. And it's not easy to drive whilst you can't see where you're going. So turning follow cam off is probably the only way to actually do this. Let's do that again. Let's put it onto a free camera. And let's have one little more bash at this. I really wanted to try and build a mongoose and I couldn't get it right because I couldn't get the suspension working the way I wanted. I like the way they've got the front wheels there turning. Now, who was it that made this one? I didn't check. I should have done. It was Mr. Mackey. Well, very good. Yeah, lights on and off with a one button, thruster boost with a two button, and was that? Yes, okay, so let's try those then. One button for the lights, you say? Well, I didn't see any, oh, I'm in the wrong seat. The front seat here, ooh. One button for the lights, two button for the thruster. Thruster boost, okay, yeah, that, yeah, that, that works. Woohoo, yep, it definitely boosts. I want to try and jump this thing. Let's uh, see, two. Oh boy, and we flipped it. <laughs> nice little design. We're going to get it back. We're going to get it back. Are we? Are we? Are we? Mm, yes. There we go. We rescued it. That is a pretty cool design, Mr. Markey. I like that. Now again, I'm not sure how old that is, but pretty awesome. While I was on Halo, I saw this and I thought, yeah, that looks the business, and it actually works really well. So next we have my design. Okay, guys. So here it is. Whenever I think of Halo, I think of this beast. It is the Warthog. Yep, awesome little design. We've got lights on this thing. I've got only one button, and that is for the lights, and button one. The rest of it is just Wazard. Now, you can turn this thing. As you can see, it's got quad steering, and that means you can do these nifty donuts. You will not have seen donuts quite like this if you've got it on quad. Now, driving it in quad, it does swing out a little bit, so it's not the easiest thing. To drive and I will give you a tip on how to drive it a little bit better if you want so let's just drive it around first in quad so you can see what I mean this thing is pretty nippy it will go over bumps and lumps and everything else pretty cool yeah no issues at all it does raise itself onto two wheels sometimes because of the suspension but yeah pretty good to drive but it slides out so if you want to be precise with where you are going and I'll show you what I mean if I want to get up that lane over there and I want to be precise about my driving going through trees and things like that this thing can slide out and not go the way you're planning I'm going to try my best here so yeah can't stay on the road there I just keep sliding out now there is a tip to this and I'll show you what to do so get your connection tool and disconnect the rear steering let's do that now from the driving seat and just connect them instead so it's here and there to any of these so this controller here will do connected to a controller therefore it cannot move and now I will only have forward uh, steer and that will mean that I can steer a lot better and be a lot more precise and I'll stay on this lane now a lot easier let me show you what I mean now I should be able to anyway I still slide out a little bit but not anywhere near as much as having the uh, four-wheel drive so let's just go down this lane yeah a lot easier a lot not more um, controlled let's say so that's a way of doing that if you don't want the four wheel and you don't get the donuts quite so well you still can do them uh, let's see what it does if you put on the forward sorry the rear steering rather than the forward steering so let's get those off again put them back to the driving make sure they're going in the right way so when I turn yep that's correct now let's take the front ones off and I'm guessing this is going to slide out a lot more but we're going to give it a go put this on the controller here this one on the controller here and now let's try it again so now we're steering with the rear it's probably going to slide out some 
yeah, that's that's not so controllable. <laughs> I wouldn't suggest doing that. Front wheel drive for control and uh, four wheel drive. If you want to have that fun with spinning it all around, I'm going to put it back into four and uh, have a little bit of a thrash around. So let's pull them back off of there. And there, pull them back onto the seat there. That one and that one. Now it also does have, if I have a little look around this thing, we've got suspension going on here and here on these arms which come down at an angle. So very much like the Warthog design in the game. Pretty cool. I've got the little winch on the front, or what's supposed to represent the little winch on the front there. Uh, it doesn't do anything. I could get it to turn around, but it really doesn't need to do anything. And on the back here, great big bumper. And of course, we've got the wheels going out slightly. So there's a little bit of a gate on them. And then here we have the engines. And also we have a seat which we can get into here. Now if you're in this, we've got a friend to go with you, you can get in this one and turn it left and right. And with the one key, you can pretend that you are firing off the machine guns. Of course, when you're driving and doing this, it's a lot more fun. You may have seen that I did do that with Alstrak was in there having a little go at it on one of his videos. If you haven't checked out Alstrak's channel, go and have a look at it. Pretty cool designs that's going on there. Now they ain't going the right way. Let's turn them wheels around. Uh, that one and that one. There we go. Should now have the four wheel. And you will see on here how I can easily do these donuts again. Let's get in the middle of this circle and pull some sick donuts. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> Pretty damn awesome. Yeah, so that's my Warthog. That's what I wanted to show you. I wanted to show you, of course, some other Halo designs that I found on the workshop and liked. Uh, so, yeah, check all those guys out. If they've got YouTube channels, I'm not sure if they have. Obviously, Moombo does. And if you haven't checked him out, go check him out. But the other guys, too, have a look at the workshop creations. Some pretty cool stuff there. As you see, came out pretty well. If you like this video, like I say, whoa, like I always say, why not spank the hell out of that thumbs up button? And don't forget to subscribe for more retro specs. And until the next time, see you soon and bye for now.